Welcome to Latte Arai. All right, heading up to the top of Latte Arai. We had an insane amount of snow yesterday, and today it's bright blue skies, so we're looking forward to an amazing bluebird theme day today. This resort is probably more famously known for its luxury accommodations, but it also has amazing powder bowl skiing. In order to access some of the bowls, we have to hike up to the top, and it actually looks like it's gonna be quite a hike, and there's a lot of people on the ridges over there. <laughs> Everyone else is so professional, has like sticks or snowshoes and we, we just have our typical gear. But I think we can still make it to the top. It just says boots. There's actually somewhat of a track already made. So even though it's tough, but it's definitely a lot easier than if we had to climb up and carve out the tracks ourselves. So whoever's the first person in the morning who does this has to have amazing fitness. We're gonna have a huge sweat before we even start snowboarding. Maybe about halfway there. Still got quite a ways to go. You can even go up there, but I think we're fine just going along this ridge. All right, I think we made it to the top. Seems a little bit downhill from now. But look at this amazing view. I'd say the one really cool thing about this is you can literally choose where you wanna go down. And so you see people going down all along this trail. And since this bowl is so wide, there's plenty of fresh snow anywhere you go down. We're gonna go drop down right here and find our way somehow back to the main path. After a couple of really tiring runs, we found our way to the base of the resort and time to grab some lunch. And as expected of a luxury resort, the food court looks so fancy. One thing to point out about the tickets here is they sell economy tickets as well as first class tickets. So generally, most people find the economy tickets fine, but if you want to skip the lines and get them a little faster, I recommend getting the first class tickets for 2,000 yen more. So maybe because we only came later in the day, but there was no line for the gondola, even for the economy ticket. So I feel like the only benefit of it is the lift at the very top of the mountain, which we will show you guys in a little bit. One thing that's kind of interesting about these gondolas is there's no actual seats, but they have these, whatever you call them. And so it's not the most comfortable, but it is quite spacious and quite modern. The gondola also has two parts and generally you want to go to the second half, but in the middle part, they'll also allow other people to come on. And so we may get some new friends that join us in the middle of this gondola ride. Hello. Good. Thank you. This is the lift at the top. In the morning, this line went all the way over there while wow, the first class line was completely empty. I think there's definitely value in getting in the morning. Right now, the line's definitely gone a lot shorter. So I think the economy is perfectly fine. There's only five lifts and a limited number of groom runs. So overall, Latte Rai is not the biggest resort in terms of groom runs. However, if you include all the ungroomed runs, this place is absolutely massive and you can literally go down any part of the mountain. So it's really amazing for expert and advanced riders. Oh, and you also don't have to hike up to the top of the mountain to get access to the powder bowls. You can go anywhere right off the lift and you can still access the amazing ungroomed areas. For this trip, we're not actually staying at the luxury hotel, but if there's a lot of interest, let us know. And next time in another video, we'll be happy to cover what the Latte Orai luxury hotel is like. All right, 
finished another awesome day of snowboarding here at La Teorai. And so even though there was a huge amount of snow yesterday and today there was beautiful weather, the snow quality I would say was only okay and only good in the morning. For this resort, if you stick to the groomers, there's actually not that much. And so the peel of the ski resort is definitely the ungroomed areas and the powder bowls. And for that, that's definitely catered towards the advanced riders. However, for beginner riders and intermediate riders, there are some options, but you may find a lot better options elsewhere in Japan. Overall, I would definitely consider this a hidden gem ski resort. It is much smaller than your typical big names, but it does have amazing runs if the snow conditions are right. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.